In this question, it gives you the graph of a cortic and it's asking for the equation of that. Now, normally if it were crossing the x-axis, that would be much easier. But this, because it's not crossing the x-axis, it has imaginary roots. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put the points, these points, we'll write down the points. So we have 0, 4, 3, 6, 9, 2, 15, 6, and 18, 4. We're gonna put them in the calculator. And what'll happen is you'll see, we'll put, the, put these in and we'll be able to first press a number that'll give us these coefficients. This is the standard form of a quartic. So in a calculator, you go to stat mode. And wait, there we go, stat mode, hit enter. So in the L1 column, we're gonna put all the, the X values. And in the L2, we put the Y values. So when we enter these, zero, three, nine, 15, 18. Okay, and then in that column, we put the four, the six, the two, the six, the four. So we have zero, four, three, six, nine, two. Okay, so these are the points on the graph that we could see easily. Then we go back to stat, go to calc. Now number seven here, if you look here, we have, we have a line, we have a quadratic, we have a cubic, and this is a quartic number seven. So we go down here, select that one, and then if you just hit enter, 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 there it is. Okay. Now, so the A is negative 0.0, I'm gonna write 0.019, negative 0.0019 x to the four. And then the B was 0.069 x to the three. The C was a negative. The D was 2.3, we'll just round it to six. And this was four. And we just put Y equals. So this would be the equation of that quartic. 